Hey, hey guys, Davin Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. I'm in uh, San Francisco at the moment, outside that CVS pharmacy. As you know, uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Dre, has done many reviews in CVS pharmacies. I'm just about to head in there uh, and just do a quick review. It's one of the easiest things for us to do because uh, we, I guess just dermatologists, we know our products pretty well and just pick up something and we can read it. Um, yes, I'm board certified for the last 13 years. It's the last time I had to read chemicals. But at the end of the day, it's quite an easy thing to do. So shall we head in there? I Aussie's one, I'll do the same for uh, Discount Pharmacies in, uh, in Australia. Hey, check out this tram, guys. Isn't that fantastic? Streets of San Francisco. I thought I was fit. Um, man, my calves were aching for the last two days. But anyway, let's head into the pharmacy and let's see what we can find out, hey? Uh, San Francisco is a beautiful, uh, absolutely beautiful city, guys. Uh, Oh, I love America. Um, if I could do things again, yes, I'd probably practice here. But um, let's take a closer look and see what we can find in this pharmacy. Take off this, I look too suspicious with my hoodie on. Look like I'm about to rob this pharmacy at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, but anyway, let's stroll, stroll through the, um, the aisles and see what we can find. Hey guys, so I'm in CVS, um, which is the Australian equivalent of um, Chemist Warehouse, and just browsing around before I hone into a few things. Uh, looking at the prices for stuff, it's very similar dollar for dollar, even though a dollar is what, 72, 73 cents an hour. Um, looking at the moisturizers, the skincare range, very, very similar, but there's a big difference, which we'll go through shortly. Um, so here we are. Um, security hasn't got on to me that I'm not Dr. Andrea Dre. Um, I'm kind of Asian to put on 200 pounds. Sorry, it's a cheap shot there. <laughs> I do really like Andrea. She's a great dermatologist. Her knowledge, her actual knowledge for ingredients and skincare is out of this world. As you know, I'm a laser and uh, procedural dermatologist, so most of the time I uh, get paid to. Um, Poke you, stab you, cut you, um, stick a needle in you, or uh, laser the heck out of you, or peel you. So um, I don't usually prescribe, but um, the basis of my dermatology, if anyone's dermatology, is basically um, knowing all these ingredients. So yes, uh, we have to study these for our board exams, and they're so ingrained in us that we don't forget. And it's been nearly what 13 years since my board exams. Um, hey, just 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 a little um, note here: Rogaine or Regain. I think I did a little segment on hair. Um, exactly the same price if you convert it from um, the US dollars to Aussie dollars. So look, like I said, similar products, um, very similar prices. Hair dye, which I go through a lot, um, is very similar. You're paying about 10 bucks in Australia, you're paying what, 7.99 here, uh, much and much. And the active ingredient's still the same. But there's this one thing which, um, this is my, my specialty because I started off in photobiology. So sunscreen, sunscreens I know, um, well, I wouldn't say I know backwards, but I know it pretty well. And um, <laughs> they are astounding because um, sunscreens, in fact, are not regulated in many countries, but they are heavily regulated in um, America. America, as, exactly, dude. In America, I need some sunscreen. And yeah, I'll tell you what sunscreen you get. Um, okay. Are you from down under? I'm from. I'm a dermatologist. So if I can, oh, okay. if I can recommend something. Yeah, please. Yeah. Do. Uh, have you got? Um, I'm trying all of them, but, so. uh, banana boats is pretty good. Yeah, banana uh, because is, because yeah. I'll tell you what, it's cheap. It's got a high 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 factor SPF. Um, and it's it's yeah, I think it rated number two and number three in Australia. So can I take this on an airplane? Uh, aerosols, no. And I'll tell you what, uh, by the way, aerosols don't give you good coverage. The reason mm -hmm. being is that you use less. It's so convenient. It is convenient because you're just going like this and not yeah. getting messy, but... You sold me. Yeah, yeah but... Banana it, boat 50. You, yeah, 50. Banana boat 50, guys. And hey, I don't work for banana boat. <laughs> I don't work for any of these guys. Thank you. Hey, no worries. Good. Hey, um, that's a dermatology consult there normally, but... Uh, I trust you. That, that's that's exactly. fine. You know you're no, that's okay. I'll send you the bill later. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> okay, so... Here we are with the sunscreens, but look at this, look at the regulations between them. You've got everything from SPF 30 to 30 to 70 to 70 to 30 to 30 to 30 to, 30 to 70 to 110. Neutrogena makes it 110. We don't see that in Australia, guys. Um, we've got 50s, we've got, we've got everything. It's so confusing. No wonder that dude's confused. He's looking at stuff and just going, man, look at this. What's a, there's an SPF 60 here. 
Um, and then this is the confusing bit with the Neutrogena. It goes like this. In Australia, I think it's, um, what is it? Is it 45 or, yeah, 45, I think. Um, but here you've got 45. And then you've got, um, just to confuse you, they give you an 85. The ingredients are very similar. Um, so they use, um, they call it Heloplex, but when we look at the active ingredients, um, believe it or not, these, these are really old in ingredients. Packaged up, avabenzone, um, and that's a really good long wave uh, UVA. So um, long wave UVA protection uh, in oxybenzone, which is UVB. And um, those are the main ingredients that give you this. They're dirt cheap, cheapest chips. Packaging is really nice, like really, really nice compared to everything. And that's why um, you're paying for um, paying for the sunscreen. Now, the other favorite sunscreen of mine, as you know, is this, Enthelios, right? So uh, this is my sunscreen of choice. And I usually get the Enthelios, we just call it Enthelios XL, right? And here they still, they, they still go under the name Enthelios, and it's really confusing. Um, Enthelios 60 um, Ox Shield XL. Now, the product, the actual real product uh, in the UK, made about 15 years ago, was state of the art. Uh, I think it was Methoxybenzo, that's why they call it Merxil XL. Uh, that was 15 years old, and it showed a really high um, UVA sun protection factor, yeah, which we didn't see at that time compared to physical sunscreens. So physical sunscreens, remember we're talking about zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And at that stage they had um, nanoparticles which were larger and hence you had the sheen. So suddenly you have this company brings out a physical sunscreen that's cosmetically elegant and I guess the world went bananas. Um, actually Europe went bananas because uh, it was the best sunscreen out. Uh, it took Australia many years, I think 15 years, for the um, at our TGA or um, yeah, our TGA to govern that. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, in in um, certain countries like in um, Europe and and all, they still continue with their branding. In the US, this <laughs> right, uh, the active ingredients, you would not believe this. This is. Avobenzone and uh, oxybenzone, same as Neutrogena. And these sunscreens had, in historical reasons, when you, when you look at avobenzone, you know, like 20 years ago, people were going, oh, it's using avobenzone because um, that was the one that gave the most amount of allergic contact dermatitis. And the chance of that happening is very, very slim, probably looking at one in 5,000. Um, and it's usually an irritant dermatitis. So if you, people say, I'm allergic to sunscreen, yes, you may be allergic to sunscreen, but you have to do all these tests, uh, not only patch testing, but photo patch testing, because we're trying to find out what you're allergic to and exclude photodermatoses and get your ANA, double-stranded DNA, exclude all the lot. So um, that product over there, um, once again, I'm, I'm going on with this Enthelios because this is my sunscreen of choice. In Asia, uh, it's still the same brand. They don't put in the real ingredients, what they put in as compared to the uh, United Kingdom and in Australia. They use, uh, the last time I looked, they use zinc oxide as their primary UVA blocker. Here they use avobenzone and like I said in the states um, the costing is comparable with Australia uh, but I do believe you, you do get a better product in Australia so um, in America I think there's a lot of marketing uh, and you're paying for cheap products I'm not saying they're, they're, they're bad products they're cheap products really cheap products technology is 20 years old or even longer uh, but they do give you that UVA protection. So you can see how unregulated within uh, country to country the sunscreens are. And that dude I told about with the uh, banana boat, uh, banana boat's good. So it's shown that, um, you know, 38% of um, uh, patients, as this, this is a real poll, 38% um, of patients stick to the same sunscreen um, day in, um, day out. And, um, 48% of patients, of patients interviewed, or, or clients, I should, I should say, uh, buy the cheaper sunscreen. So that's in a normal pharmacy. But if you're looking at a pharmacy like this where Asians are buying sunscreens, you're probably looking at about 100%.
sorry, I could get away with that being Asian. Um, okay, look, that, that's probably a, a population bias there, yeah? Um, okay, another interesting stat. 55% of patients who, or clients I should say, who buy sunscreen still report burning with sunscreen. There's a reason for that. Remember I went through all my sunscreen reviews how to use it? We're looking at five grams. Five grams is a teaspoon, and a teaspoon is supposed to cover your face, your neck, your ears, and your decolletage. So that's why you have a teaspoon. You go, oh, we're not going to wear a teaspoon, but everyone's forgetting their ears and the back of the neck, the sides of the neck. And that's why you see all these women with these all these poikiloderma savats. You know, I'm, I'm here and I'm actually covering up using, um, <laughs> using, using this. So, um, yeah, it's very important. Physical protection first, hats, sunglasses. You know, I'm out there like this. Um, but you know it's 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 um, physical protection first and then sunscreen second so this is my take on um, on sunscreens uh, and like um, Dr. Dre says I think the cameras are now watching watching me this one up there somewhere and I think they must be CBS must be watching my vlogs I mean I'm in here all the time but they're like they see me on surveillance and they're like God get her out of here but stuff are now coming in so uh sorry what's that uh, my name um Davin um uh sorry um uh, Andrea yeah yeah I'm a board certified dermatologist um yeah um surname Dre D-R-D-R-A-Y yeah yeah um Andrea Dre, yeah. Oh, uh, you, you like me to leave now? Yeah. Um, okay, sorry guys, I've got to go. So yes, Andrea Dre, I'll, I'll, um, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, thanks for filming. Hey, um, hey guys, thanks for that. If you really liked that quick video, uh, I'm in America for the next week and a bit. Um, please hit the subscribe button. Um, okay, I hardly do videos like this. It's a bit of a comedy skit thing, but it's. Uh, you know, like I said, I do know my sunscreens and um, country to country, the regulations and brands, they change so much, it's so complex. Uh, when you go in, even a dude like that, I had to guide through and yeah, hey, banana boat, you owe me for a sale. Catch ya, bye. Guys, you can also find me on Instagram. This is the more personal side of me, um, but I also give you educational videos on how to look after your skin. Um, so it's Dr. Davin Lim at Instagram. Before I get a backlash about um, you know commenting on Dr. Dre's weight and um, her CVS pharmacy uh, videos, look, it's a formal apology. It's a um, yeah, it's a comedy skit. Uh, no disrespect to her, uh, she has my total respect. She's a very brilliant board certified dermatologist who really knows her stuff, and I like it because she tells it like it is. And um, yeah, really good um, dermatologist. So guys, um, like I said. It's all in the name of, um, I guess, fun. Catch ya.